I'm be trying to keep this video very short. This is just like my thoughts on red, red eyes, and how I run my red eyes. This is how my red eyes looks right now. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain about the hive a little later on. Just wanted to plug my Discord server real quick. Link will be in the description. And uh, all of this is just suggestions towards red hives. It's not required to run, but I've been like experimenting with my hive a bit, and I think these changes should be like looked over i mean in my situation uh this hive it's been working really good for me you guys can obviously change it uh to your liking but the first thing i want to go over is rage b and rage b has like rage b is a b that can kind of confuse players some people say don't run rage some people say do for its attack. It's honestly dependent on your amulets and of course your hive level. Ideally, you want uh, your precise beast to have a base attack of 50 to 53. Uh, because right now at the moment, precise bees max uh, pollen from damage is 90 attack and that's for star fields i'll show a screenshot real quick of name name confirming that and uh i'm not gonna edit this video to be honest I'm too fucking lazy can't be asked to content create i'm more of like a streamer type of guy uh my digital is pretty ass but at the moment, uh, smileys are weak for digital. I had some guy saying if puppy is worth running. And since digital is pretty weak right now, then uh, you don't run puppy. So now for Windy, a lot of people have been confused with Windy. Saying that doesn't it ruin the lineups by killing your haste? And I'd say, for the amount it's giving, I'd say it's worth uh, ruining your haste. But I mean, you run Whistle and Toy Drums to make up for that loss of haste. So, for example, we'll have a, what was it, Brave? No, uh, Riley with Drum. And you also have, oh yeah, you'll have... Kazoo on your buoyant. You want Beezus Tree Hat on your Bear Bee Sweat Band on digital. Toy Horn on Brave. Oh no, this goes on Brave. This goes online. And this is how my Beaker case looks like. I don't have shades at the moment. I haven't bothered getting shades. Uh, there's also, if you have 15 B equip slots, you can fit in shades, you can fit in like two other B equips of your choice, so it can be like two bad paper clips, or honey mark spileys, and that's one thing I'm going to go over right now, your carp vector ratio should be 8-3, but dependent on, depending on if you have honey mark uh, smiley stickers, then uh, let's say, for example, you have two Honey Marks Money stickers. You put them on Vector, and you'd remove two Carps for Vector. So you'd be running 10 Vectors, one Carp. If you have one Honey Marks Miley, that would be nine Vectors, two Carps. Uh, this ratio is honestly dependent on the Honey Mark uh, Smileys. Another thing I've seen people confused with is the removal of Festive Bee from the Hive. In my situation, I don't need a third fest to be. Well, a third fest to be could help, but I've already tried boosting with three fest to be's like three times, and uh, I see no difference. I actually see. Uh, well, yeah, I, I do see a difference, and it's that I'm making, I'm making higher, or not higher. Uh, 
I'm making more honey without the third festive. So what I mean by three festives is that I have one running on my main, I have one running on my fuzzy out, and I have one running on my guide out. Uh, I removed the festive from my hive and my average went up by like 5-10%. I did three boosts with a uh, festive and uh, I made like 100 trillion, like 100 trillion each boost. Uh, I don't remember exact numbers, but it's somewhere around 100 trillion mark. I think one was like 98T. Uh, one was 110 and another was 100 and I removed my festive for uh, Windy I had my festive right here removed it for Windy and I'm making significantly more with uh, Windy so far so after I switched it out did a boost and I did 130 trillion and I'm gonna be honest the lineups were average Every lineup I got for Scorched, it was just straight up average. I feel like Wendy really helped with my honey making. Because if we look over here at uh, Wendy's high bonus, you get a uh, double boost from Clouds. And already by itself, Clouds give 25% Fallen and 10 unique instant conversion. Uh, but with the buff, the high, the buff from the high bonus, you can make, uh, you can get a double cloud bonus. So that would be uh, fifty percent pollen and uh, twenty unique instant conversion. And what I'd say, what that twenty unique instant conversion can do is that it can remove the the purpose of having instant conversion on SSA. So you can have like an extra slot for your SSA. That's what I, how I view it. Uh, my current SSA is pretty shit. Uh, I don't have instant conversion. My old SSA, when I had festive running, was way better than this. But I decided to uh, remove that SSA for this SSA to test out Windy without uh, having instant conversion on the SSA. And I mean, my most recent boost, I'll uh, show a screenshot here. Uh, I made 130 trillion. This is from, uh, this, this is my boost with my current hive. I haven't changed anything. This is the exact hive I use. Well, the only thing I changed was like the organization of the hive, but that's pretty much it. Besides that, I have, this is the exact same hive I used to make that 130 trillion. Uh, what else was there? Uh, I see a lot of people asking about Commander. You can replace Rage with Commander if you have really good uh, amulets that give a lot of attack. Right now my stick bug is pretty bad. Uh, I'm missing one red B attack and the 10% B attack percentage. Uh, my cog, it's I'm missing... Uh, like a couple more percent B attack. I think it's like 4%, 5% B attack I'm missing. I don't know what's the max on Supreme God, but uh, I'll try working on that. Uh, I'm missing, also, I'm also missing crit chance on my ant. Uh, my ant. My ant is pretty bad. I can work on that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Also, uh, you can run mutations to boost your attack up to 50 to 53 uh, for example uh, where is it here 13 percent attack gives me 50 attack this is your goal right here this is like your minimum goal 50 attack and you want 50 to 53 so that way when you activate your flame fuel and uh your stinger your you'll be Maxing out the damage you can get on uh, Precise V. So once I get all those attacks on my amulets, I'll be replacing my Rage with Commander. Uh, so what was another thing I was going to go over? Uh, Radby, uh, 
it just helps with red pollen uh, and you can also run more bee clips on him like uh, i think the what do they call it? the sunglasses no the the shades they can go on uh red as well uh oh another massive change to the hive is you want to run four tags so before people used to run like two tags for baby uh two tags two babies some ran four babies no tags with uh the new uh update scorching star now activates with boost tokens not just specifically red boost tokens so the more boost uh the most the more boost uh providers you have the faster the scorching star which also radby helps with uh radby spawns red boost which can help uh get to your uh scorch star uh another thing uh another th uh other things I see is line B on my running line. Uh, that's because I'm not running commander. But and also, also another big part is that I'm running gifted B pollen on it, and uh, that that uh, gets you more pollen in the field. And you know, my bag doesn't my bag doesn't explode when I do. Uh, when I get decently good lineups, uh, because I have so much unique instant conversion that like, you know, it just doesn't explode as much as it used to. And I'd say I've gotten the same amount, maybe like two less gifts from uh, from removing festive. It, it really doesn't make much of a difference as long as it's, you know, most gifts you get it off uh off of scorch which you want them on scorch so i feel like uh i mean you could add a third festive but uh i'm not running it i don't i don't really need it on my main hive it doesn't really benefit the main hive you'd run it on alts uh and they'll provide you the gifts the wreath can come from your fuzzy all being in the field and you can have uh the festive bees from being guiding your fuzzy out, spawning the gifts for you. Uh, but I mean, you can still run festive. I'm just, it's just my situation that I don't run festive. Uh, what else? What else? I think that's it for the hive changes. Uh, thing you do want to do is always boost with clouds. I mean, I've seen some people boost without clouds before. But if you're gonna run windy, then you're gonna obviously always want to boost with clouds. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it for the video. If I'm missing anything, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, other than that, I think that should be the end. Make sure you join the Discord if you haven't. I think, I think this hive, I think I've covered everything about the hive. Uh, hold on, let me, let me check my comment real quick. One second, guys. I'm not going to edit this, I'm too lazy. And also, by the way, if you're running Coconut Belt and you decide to actually like use the passive, try to build it up, then don't run Windy because you may get unlucky and kill your haste while that's happening. But I mean, if you're running two toy drums or whistle and other haste producers like Hasty and Photon, uh, then you can instantly get your haste back 
Uh, that's it for the video though. As I said, if I left anything unanswered, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to respond to you, as many of you as I can. Uh, if I don't respond to one of your comments, then I've either answered it or just been spotted. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Mutation wise, if you're if you have really good amulets and your precise beast base attack is fifty to fifty three, you can run uh move speed or instant conversion as your mutations. Uh since precise bees are very slow, uh move speed can increase the amount of speed and uh it makes them spawn the tokens quicker. It's basically like a better version of bar. Uh yeah, that's pretty much it. And then for the rest of the beats, you'd run the same old uh, mutations, bars on bar or move speed on spicy. I mean, sp spices don't even need speed. Uh, bar or convert rate on spices. Convert on convert or bar on vectors. Uh. Yeah, I think that's it. Barring your tads. Uh, I'm yapping too much. I've already made this video longer than I suppose. Join the Discord if you haven't. Link in the description. Sorry for uh, promoting my Discord so much. Just don't want it to be dead. Alright, you guys have a great day. That's it for my opinion on the my thoughts on Red Eye. Yeah, peace.